Let's move on to main topic number three. And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Martin Woods. And Martin Woods writes, Hey, John and Rob, I have to admit, I'm kind of getting tired of the hate campaign for the Snyder Cut. Even Snyder was just bashing on the theatrical cut of the movie, which is way better than any movie he's ever done. I, I take issue with that. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, saying he'd rather blow up the Snyder Cut. Um, he'd rather blow up the Snyder Cut than use any of Joss's footage. I, I take issue with that as well. We'll talk about that in a second. He's just coming across as salty because Justice League had a higher critics and audience scores than any of his films. All right. Thanks for writing that in, Martin. And uh, and let's let's dive into it. And listen, Martin, with all due respect, and I, I appreciate Hey, listen, film fans, we come from different points of view. I respect what you're saying. But I do want to point a couple of things out. Um, number one, let's start with some of the factual stuff. Saying that, you know, Justice League had better audience and critic scores than any of his films. Well, number one, don't forget, Justice League is still technically his film. Like if you look at Justice League, that was the theatrical cut. He's still the listed director of credit. That's a nitpick, but also while it is true, while it is true that Justice League, uh, the theatrical cut did have, yes, it did. It did have a higher critic rating and a higher audience rating than Batman versus Superman did. You know what I think about web voting based critic uh, audience rating stuff. I, I don't think that's very reliable, but yes, it did have a higher critic rating and a higher, higher audience score than Batman uh, versus Superman did it, it did not have either a higher critic score nor a higher audience score than Zach's other movie, man of steel. It still is a, an issue of massive bewilderment to me that that critic score for man of steel, one of the greatest, I would dare I say it is the second greatest DC movie ever made only behind the dark Knight. Yes, I said it. I believe Man of Steel is better than Batman Begins. I better I believe it's better than The Dark Knight Rises. I believe it's better than any other DC movie ever with the exception of The Dark Knight. So I take a little bit of issue <laughs> saying that the Justice League, the, and, and, and I, I like Justice League, the theatrical release. I did, but I take some issue saying it's better than any of the other films you've ever done. So I'll take a little bit of issue with that, but I'm a Man of Steel homer. Okay, so what this is all coming from is that... Uh, Zack Snyder was being interviewed for something called Justice Con, right? And the question got asked, and it is actually a ridiculous question. And I'll get into that in a second. It is an absolutely stupid, ridiculous question that even the person asking the question said, it's a dumb question, but for the fans, we've got to ask. And I understand that. Sometimes you got to ask the dumb question because it's a question that's begging, begging, to, be, uh, begging to be asked. And they asked the question, are you going to use, in your Snyder cut, are you going to use any of the other footage from the theatrical cut. Again, it's a ridiculous question. We'll get into why. This is what Zack Snyder said and what everybody is getting, uh, including our question, the person who asked the question is getting all riled up about. Zack said the following. He said, there would be no chance on earth that I would use a shot that was made after I left the movie. I would destroy the movie. I would set it on fire before I, I would use a single frame that I did not photograph. That is fucking hard fact. All right, let's read this again. Snyder said there would be no chance on earth that I would use a shot that was made after I left the movie. I would destroy that movie. I would set it on fire before I would use a single frame that I did not photograph. That is fucking hard fact. All right. Let's take a look at what he said. What he just said makes absolute total sense. What is the Snyder cut? What is it? The Snyder Cut, like there are still people out there who have this belief that the Snyder Cut is some new production, that they're going to go back into production. They're going to be doing, they're not doing any more shooting. It's not a new production. It's not a new anything. What the Snyder Cut has always been intended to be was the original vision that Zack Snyder had for the movie, which is the footage he shot before it was, before, you know, he had to leave for a myriad of different reasons. But the whole idea of the Snyder Cut from the beginning was that original film that he shot. Therefore, the notion that anybody would have ever thought for a second that he would then add in footage that was shot after he left 
that he would add in footage that is the opposite of the whole intention of putting out the movie that he originally shot and originally intended to show. The question itself is ludicrous. It's an absolutely ludicrous, ridiculous question. Again, I don't blame the interviewer for asking the question because they were right. It's going to be something people wonder, but it's absolutely idiotic that anybody, any of us would be wondering that. The whole idea of the Snyder Cut is for him to take the original thing that he shot and had his edit of for years to then take that, get the studio to give him a bunch of money so he can actually finish it and then present it to the world. When you understand what the Snyder Cut, what else? Listen, so listen, I understand getting a little upset by it, but listen, again, listen to what Zack Snyder said. Nothing that he says here is unreasonable and nothing that he says here should be surprising at all. There is no chance on earth that I would use a shot that was made after I left the movie. I would set it on fire before I use a single frame that I did not photograph because the idea of this thing is the movie that I shot. Right. So, I mean, of course. So listen, I, I, I respect the fact that maybe you took his words one way, but I honestly think if you take a step back and just and understand the context and take, take a look specifically as what, at what he's saying. And by the way, he wasn't trashing on Joss Whedon. He's never said he never brought up Joss once. He actually reemphasized in the interview that he never actually saw that version of the movie because it was the movie that was taken away from him. I respect that. But he doesn't trash anybody here. He's not, I don't believe he's saying anything unreasonable. He's saying what all of us should have had enough common sense to know in the first place. Of course, he's, before he said that, he, that person should have been able to ask any of us, do you think he's going to use some of the other footage made for the, what are you talking about? This is supposed to be the Snyder Cut. This is the version that he, that's why he's not doing any more shooting. Of course not. It's a ridiculous question. So really, I think, again, Rob, I get somebody maybe getting upset at first when they first take a look at this. But I think if you just take a breath and look at it again, what he's saying is exactly what we all should have known and should have never even be asked. He's going to make this thing the thing that he always intended to be, which means why the hell would he use any additional footage? So personally, I see nothing wrong with what he said. I see nothing incendiary about it. He was being very passionate. Look, he's been trying for years to get the studio to agree to let him finish this thing. And now that they have, is he suddenly going to go out and pull in other footage that other people shot? Of course he's not. Yeah. And he answered that passionately. I personally see nothing wrong with what he said there. Rob, you saw these words. What was your reaction to it? Well, first of all, I, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the people at JusticeCon for putting this event on because I participated in a, a panel discussion on it. This was put on by three uh, female fans that put it all together to, to talk about and honor the Snyder Cut. And they got... Zack Snyder to participate. And while DC Fandom is happening next month, where we're going to see an actual trailer for the Snyder Cut, Zack Snyder dropped a, a piece of footage with Superman in the black suit. He came on this thing, and it shows what what the power of fandom to do to do something good. I thought this was a really cool event, and the fact that Snyder fully sanctioned it was awesome. So kudos to them. And, and secondly, I agree with everything you said. It's not like... Zack Snyder was standing at a podium with banging his shoe like Mussolini giving a speech. You know, there's always there's an element of tongue in cheek to what he was saying. And of course, what would be the point of having a Snyder cut if there was anything that he didn't shoot in it? I mean, it 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 of course. And I think since the question was couched as being a stupid question anyway, but I think like you said, I think it, it kind of had to be asked because people it want absolutely, to clarify. Yeah, it, it's, it's stupid and it's pathetic, but it, it she, but she was right. Like the, the girl was asking the question. She goes, look, I, I have to ask this. And she's 100% right because that 100%. is a question that a lot of people, a lot of stupid people like me would have been thinking about. And so she had to put that question out there. And I, I respect that. Also, so, yeah, from a it's a logistical question from a filmmaking perspective is would there be some footage that you might have needed to reshoot, but they did it for you or whatever? I – I, I, if I was a producer, like let's say I was producing the Snyder Cut, or you and I were, the first question we would be asking Zack Snyder is, okay, we have all this footage. Do we need more footage? Are we gonna? Are you going to expect us to figure out a way to go shoot more stuff? And if so, are you going to utilize anything that was made for jo by Joss Whedon? That's a logistical question that would be one of the first things asked if you were going to actually go do this. So I think 
clarifying it for the fans because you know how misinformation gets all over the internet. Now you've actually got a definitive quote from the filmmaker himself saying no. And the fact that people are spinning it into something like a bad form or, or whatever, I think he was just giving you a fun answer. You know, it's not like he was, like I said, he's not, I will never, you know, it was, he was being fun. You know, this was a, it was a fun answer. It's not like he's on trial in front of Congress or something or, or being deposed. It was, I thought it was an amusing answer and I thought it was fun and it, it, it kind of says where his head is at and, and, and no one will ever question it anymore. So there's your answer. I thought it was great. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, the whole point of, what is the Snyder Cut? The Snyder Cut is the version of the movie that he shot prior to leaving or being removed, whatever, and the studio, studio mandating they change the movie. He's been wanting his cut to come out. So why on earth would he ever want to use a piece of footage that he didn't shoot? It just makes sense. So again, I, I, listen, again, I understand because he answered it so passionately. I, I get some people on first impression looking at that and maybe taking it a little bit the wrong way, like he was being like aggressive or negative. I, I think there was, again, I think when you take context into consideration, you understand what this movie is supposed to be. And then you read his comment he's saying, no, I'm not going to use anything that I didn't photograph. I'm not going to shoot anything that was shot after I left. This is supposed to be his vision. I see nothing wrong with what he said whatsoever. Anyway, guys, question is for you. You had a chance to see that little quote from Zack Snyder. What did you make of it? Did you think he was maybe being a little, you know, out of bounds? I personally didn't think at all, but maybe you did. Jump down to the comment section below and let me know what you think. All right, guys.